You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the kickoff of the endurance tournament has been successful due to the notable participation of riders from local stables hailing their outstanding performances. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the race has witnessed sheer excitement during its last stages as the riders were aiming to achieve advanced ranks. His Highness congratulated the winners who demonstrated great efforts that enabled them to attain these results. His Highness congratulated writer Uthman al awadi of Team Victorious who won the title and that his team shall continue its success throughout the season. Sheikh Nasser crowned the winner that came in the first three positions in the presence, brief president and deputy president of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, as well as the head of the Endurance Committee and brief Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa. Sheikh Faisal congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the race's winners for the success of the endurance season opening and expressed appreciation to all riders and stables who worked on the organization of this event. On the eve of Election Day 2018, the kingdom is buzzing with anticipation and excitement about tomorrow's much-awaited voting process. Voting is a fundamental right of any citizen that enables them to choose their representative and have a say in the national decision-making process. I think that's very important because that's the right for every citizen and he should use it very carefully and very responsibly. And I think, you know, to choose the best 
uh, you know, candidates for the uh, for the parliament is the most important, uh, you know, duty of the citizen because they are going to represent them. They should choose whom they represent them. I am cancelling everything I have outside of Bahrain to go and vote on that day. So this is very important for everyone. I think it's critical. I think we have to have representatives in the parliament that reflect the ambitions and reflect, frankly, the age and the sophistication of the Bahraini citizens. And I think we need people who will be engaged with the government, who can act as partners with the government. And so we cannot sit and complain if we don't go out and vote and make sure that we also choose the right people, that we see the options around. And I think it's important because we then encourage others to run for office. So uh, I think it's critical. I would encourage everybody. I'll go myself. I've told my whole family to come. And I would encourage everybody to go out and vote. It is an honor to be here in the Kingdom of Bahrain and to be able to exercise their democratic rights. So I urge them to, to you know, take their voices and, and be heard. And it is an absolute critical opportunity, like you said, not just for youth, but for all Bahrainis to exercise this, you know, civic right, but also duty. I mean, we are lucky in Bahrain to have uh, the opportunity of a growing uh, democracy. And one of its key tenets is really political participation and uh, a, a playing a part in the decision decision uh, making process. So, you know, this is an opportunity for all of us to determine uh, the future of what Bahrain looks like. And it's not a, it's not something that should be taken lightly. Bahrain's 2018 election executive committee announced that the electoral silence begins today, 24 hours from the scheduled date of the polling, during which the electoral campaigns will be suspended throughout Bahrain. The election executive committee said that all forms of electoral campaigns will be suspended to include social media, text messages, as well as avoiding contacting voters or being around polling and ballot counting committees. It called for abiding by the electoral silence period and laws governing the electoral process. Voters will head to polling stations tomorrow to elect members of the lower house of parliamentary and municipal councils. Eligible voters will be able to cast their ballots from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Now, the Ministry of Information Affairs has completed all preparations to cover the parliamentary and municipal elections due to take place tomorrow in line with the directives of Information Minister Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi All technical and human capabilities will be dedicated to covering the elections, highlight this democratic festival, and convey to the world Bahrain's civilizational image. Latest technologies will also be employed to cover the electoral process. Since Royal Order 36 of 2018 holds national elections was issued, the radio and television sector start did start a daily coverage of the election process in many specialized programs. In addition, the Information Ministry inaugurated a state-of-the-art media center for the elections to facilitate work of journalists and media persons from Bahrain and beyond who will be present for the coverage of this major national event.